Hey gang, we're in Conshohocken, Pennsylvania. We're right outside of Philadelphia here, and we're at Calvary Cemetery. I want to shout out Linda Ball, who's one of our viewers and subscribers. Thanks, Linda, helping me find this grave. Very interesting story. A woman named Helen Conway, spontaneous combustion. Have you ever heard of that? If you're like me, spontaneous combustion never really researched the stories, but I've always thought when I've heard that, it's like someone just goes poof and disappears like on fire and they just, but actually it's a little bit slower of a process and it turns out it has happened. It has happened. We're going to talk about the story. Let's take a walk to Helen's grave and I'll tell you what happened to her. A most unfortunate end to her life. She was 51 years old. She had her grandkids with her. She lived in this, uh, one of the towns right in Philly. I think it was called Upper Darby. And two grandkids, six and eight years old, they were having a great time. And then all of a sudden it was 8.42 in the morning, must have been just after breakfast. And all of a sudden the neighbors, the neighbors said, hey, there's, there's smoke coming from Helen's place. So they went over to her place and they, the, the smoke was getting bad. So they called the fire department firemen came. I think it said they were there in three minutes. They got the grandkids out, but when they went around the corner and they looked, they were horrified to see the what little was left of Helen. She's in the corner with her legs sticking out and there was nothing else left of her whatsoever. Just charred black and just right there, the wall was you know, nothing was burned down. There was some charred, the wall was charred, but it was really crazy. She was, she was gone. And it was in a matter of minutes, the picture of her that the fire chief took right at the scene. And it is gruesome. Working the timeline, I think that Helen was alive, at, well, if you figure at 8.42, so say 8.30, the fire started. Firemen discovered her remains at 8.48, what little was left of her only six minutes later. And as you could have seen from the picture, head, arms, abdomen, everything was completely consumed, turned to ashes. They found her ring, her wedding ring. That's the only way they could identify her as they sifted through the ashes. I guess it is said that in these cases, the body has a wick effect. And what happens is really your, your body fat is it kind of acts like candle wax <laughs> and it just feeds on itself and burns away. But boy, that was pretty quick. You look at that picture and you go, whoa, that's out of a horror movie. How could that happen so fast? Well, that's what was reported. Even if it took a half hour, an hour, still. But that's how they identified her sifting through the ashes. All they could find was her wedding ring. Her grave is right here. Marked with this stone with the family plot marker, Conway Hessen. So she's buried here. Her inscription is right here, Helen A. 
1913 to 1964. I'm not sure if Stanley was her husband, I'm guessing. There's no find a grave on this that I could find. But it would be interesting to know if that was her husband. And there's another Helen here, but that's, uh, I guess it's uh, the other family. And many times they do that, the families will share plots, plot markers like this. But that's the story, guys. Her body fats melted, acted as a grease fire. Firemen had said when they went to inspect and they were examining what was left of her, it was very greasy. So, I don't know, believe it or not, but that is the story. And I guess those are the fact, how that could have happened. She was a smoker and they say a very careless smoker. And we're gonna leave her a flower. I'm gonna put it on the side here where her name is. Very sad story, very gruesome story. Well, rest in peace, Helen, rest in peace.